Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to be doing a honest review on Go High Level. I'll be going through some of the things you can do on a sub account, showing you a lot of the features within Go High Level as well, explaining the features and also going over some of the pricing plans within Go High Level. Now, if you guys would like to sign up for Go High Level, there will be a link in the description which will offer an extended free trial. I'll also be constantly updating the link down below to make sure it stays at the best offer. And apart from that, let's get into the review. Okay, so now I'm on the dashboard for my sub account. And of course, if you wanted to swap to a different sub account, you simply click the top left option and you can change between your accounts, assuming you have more than one account. So straight off the bat, you will be on your dashboard. And what it is, is it pretty much is a dashboard for all your social media platforms, all your opportunities, your pipeline values, as well as your conversion rates. Now again, for this video, all of these numbers are test numbers, just so I can show you what it would look like if I actually had an agency running. So we'll start off at the top here. So for example, it says your opportunities. It will tell me all my opportunities that I have. So I currently have four opportunities. It'll tell me if they're closed, open or lost. So all four of these are open. It also shows me my pipeline value. So again, same as the opportunities. Um, it shows all my income, which has been opened, any if they were closed, any that were lost. It also shows my conversion rate if I were to have one. Now down in the middle here, it shows us uh, two different graphs for us to track our conversions and any leads that we have. So for example, all these little titles here are created by me, which I'll be going over once we get to that tab. But as you can see under new leads, it says I've made $120, which will show me in this funnel graph. And if I obviously go through them, I have two hot leads, two booking requests one booking confirmed and one product sold. And on the right here is just a basic pie graph as well. So again, show me that I have two promotions, uh, sold one promotion and a booking requested as well. Then at the bottom here, it shows any manual actions. So if you have anything pending, any phone or SMS actions pending as well, you can also choose to select a campaign or workflow as well as an assignee to this. And if you were to have any tasks assigned to certain people or just tasks in general, towards maybe your agency or a group of people, it will all be displayed in this section here. And at the bottom is your lead source report. So again, just show me my leads. So I have four, the total value of those leads is $120 and they're all open. So your dashboard is pretty much just the hub for all your conversions and just in general, your profit. And just to clarify, we'll hold all of your social media platforms as well. So instead of having to go to different social media apps and trying to organize them through different apps, you can do it all under one dashboard which is a big help considering that you don't have to keep logging around to different platforms. It just makes things a lot more easier. So the next tab is the conversations tab. What you'll find here is just basically any conversation that you've had within any social media platform. So let's say I was running Facebook ads on a certain Facebook page that I had on Facebook and I had conversations going on them on Facebook. Any of those conversations that I've had, as long as I've obviously linked my Facebook page or account to my Go High Level account will be recorded here. Same as Google ads or any of your other websites or any social media platform in general that you have linked up will be all recorded here. So again, just like your dashboard, instead of having to go to all of your social media platform apps and you know look through all your conversations and try to reply to each single one of them on different apps, you can manage all your conversations under one dashboard, which is just insane considering that you could literally just manage it from one screen instead of having to hop to different social media platforms. Now, what you can also do is under the templates area is you can create certain templates to send via email or even SMS. So for example, here I've made one, it's called a sales pitch. So this email would probably sent, be sent out to new people that may be interested in my products. It says, hey, which it will, obviously will be their name. You can set that as an action as well. Hope you are well. Thanks for registering with test agency. Be sure to check out our products at www.yourwebsite.com. Obviously you put your website in and dash from the TA team. And if I were to have any attachments to it, like a photo of something that will be uh, shown here and this type is email. So what I can also do is just click the little edit option and if I wanted to edit it and that's how it would be displayed if you were to send it as an email and someone were to open it on their phone. Now when creating these, you definitely want to give it a title assuming that you do have an agency full of other people and not just yourself, you definitely want to label everything to make sure that they're on the same page as well. So that way, if your workers decide to, you know, send an email or want to edit something, they know exactly what the email is for. So that's why I've specified this as a sales pitch, which will be under sales. And then, yeah, so again, if you wanted to attach a file, you can attach one here. 
and you can send it also from an address or to an address as well. You can also do the same for an SMS. So if I do add text template, I can do the same thing here. So it's the same process as the email. You just give it a name, what you want to send to them. You can attach a file as well. And you can also add custom values. So for example, if we were to click it and I would send a message to, let's say, Joseph. All right, so if I click full name, it will then put their full name as the starting point to this text message as well as anything else that I have assigned. So for example, if Joseph had an appointment with us, uh, obviously it would, it would be recorded on Goha level. So there'll be a start date time. I can then choose that, which would then allow that command to send the start and date time for his appointment to him as well. So you can get very technical with this. There's a lot of things to choose from. There's invoices, the company, customers, attribution, a lot of different things you can add. It's you know entirely up to what you guys want to add. You can also add a trigger link, which I'll better explain uh, after this tab. And just as I've explained before, here is the trigger links. So if we go on this link, you can simply add your own link and create a trigger link. So I've created one here under just a fake address. So www.yourwebsite.com. So if I were to send that in an SMS or an email, what I can do is, is I can go to analyze under trigger links. And any actions or events that will happen within that link once they've clicked it will be recorded here. Uh, it actually explains it here as well. So a trigger link allows you to put links inside SMS messages and emails, which allow you to track specific customer actions and trigger events based on when the link is clicked. So that's very helpful considering you could see what they're doing, you know, on that link that you send them, whether or not they're just clicking the link and getting straight off of the link or if they're spending time within that link and you know that they're looking around or any events they might trigger. So they might click a certain product that might be in that link or whatever it is. You can track it all here, which will help you better your website. Okay, so now we'll go to calendars. So your calendar is pretty self-explanatory. You just, you get a basic calendar. So you can have different type of calendars, maybe like a Robin Hood calendar. And of course, just like any calendar, you can just simply appoint certain things to certain times, any appointments that you get. Uh, any tasks so for example if you maybe have a task for someone on a certain date that they need to complete for that date you can just set that up in your calendar it's really just the hub for your organization of your agency you really want to make sure you have an organized calendar because it makes things so much more easier and will help your whole agency a lot more as well and anyone that is working within that agency as well and of course you can have multiple different calendars it's not just set to one and of course, any appointments or anything that happens within that calendar will all be linked here. Now if we go to contacts, for an example, I have four contacts, customer one, two, three, and four. Again, just like most of the tabs, they're pretty self-explanatory. This is where you can just keep a list of your contacts. So you can give them even a certain tag, for example. If we click the bulk actions tab, it just shows you pretty much a brief history of what has been happening or any adjustments or changes within your contacts. So let's say you were to delete a contact, you can click the restore tab and it will show you a list of any contacts that you may have deleted. You can also go to tasks. This is where you'll be able to create tasks and assign them to certain people. So obviously you would have a name and description, their contact, the assignee and due date and status. So if I were to create a new task, as you can see, I can give my task and all that stuff as I've just read before, title, description, assignee and contact. And if we go to company list, I can track basic companies. So if I you know, were to be in, in talks with another company for a certain reason, I can have it listed here with their phone, email, and it also shows who created it and the created date. So now we are on opportunities. In the opportunities tab, it shows your leads. You can also create a lot of different pipelines to show, for example, uh, your new leads, hot leads, booking requests, booking confirmed, solds, and reviews. Just in general, it is great for tracking customers' moves and their plans with your agency. So let's say, for example, I was a cleaning business and I have Sarah here who potentially could be a lead. So she may or may not want a $10 clean up for maybe just say, let's say a room in her house. It will be shown under new leads and I can track all of these. So for example, as well, Jack, he might want something cleaned for $50. It also shows hot leads here. So again, if there's, you know, someone's on the verge of buying, uh, they'll be displayed here. Any booking requests, so for example, Claire wanted a booking request for a cleanup on a certain room. It will show here and any bookings confirmed, all self-explanatory stuff, anything that I've sold and any reviews. It's great to have the opportunities tab. It just keeps everything organized and shows you where a lot of your customers are sitting and how your company's going in general. 
Now if we go to the pipelines area, you can also create a new pipeline. So for example, this pipeline is called promotion. So if we go back to opportunities tab, this whole section right here, all these tabs are under one pipeline. So if I wanted to maybe have another one for maybe another business, I can go to pipelines and just create a new pipeline, give it a name and add different stage stages to it as well. A stage is just pretty much what you see in the opportunity. So if stage one here is new leads, stage two is hot leads. So what I can do is I'll go under my current pipeline, uh, I can edit it. And as you can see here, these are the stages. So everything you've seen on the other page is just listed here. You can create a new stage and call it whatever you'd like. So let's say for example, or I'll literally just name it example. I'd click save and then go back to opportunities. And if I just go across here, there you go, I've added a new stage. Again, another great feature just to really help your organization and track everything that may happen within your agency. And you can also choose to have it visible on a funnel chart and a pie chart, which is what we've seen at the very start on our dashboard, as you can see here. Now we're on the payments tab. As you can see in the top, we have our invoices. So any invoices that come through will be all listed here. You have an orders tab. So obviously if you have a product of some sort online, you can track any of the orders within that tab as well. Same with subscriptions and transactions. You can track any products that you have within your agency. You can also choose to add coupons as well. And there's also tax settings. So what you can do in tax settings is pretty much just set up your own tax for certain things. So let's say you're selling a certain product, you can choose to how much you want to tax off that product as well. So you literally can just set up your own tax. So now we are on the marketing tab. So what you can do under emails is create a campaign and create different templates. So for example, if I wanted to create a campaign, I'd click the top right create campaign button which would then take me to the choose template page. So I can choose a current template if I were to have one. So what I've done here is made a campaign. So what I can do is just edit it and show you guys what you can do. So just like creating any other campaign, you have your elements so you can add text, images and buttons and dividers and all your social media platforms as well. You can choose different types of layouts at the bottom here. You can also change the way your appearance is as well. So if I go to template, as you can see, I can change the background color, the body color, I can add a URL as well. I can add different buttons, dividers, custom CSS, so I can add my own code if I want to as well. And I can also change uh, different type of formats for mobile. So now we're on templates. So just like the conversations tab, you can choose to send a certain template. And again, just like conversations, it shows your trigger links. So you can track your links or add a link and analyze them as well. So now we are on the automation tab. So what it is, is it shows your workflow list. So I'll read what it says. Create and manage workflows to automate business processes, improve efficiency and increase conversions. So what you can do in the automation tab is actually automate most of your business. So you don't have to do any email sending. That way the automation will simply just reply to certain texts as well. Literally making a lot of the main and hard stuff, like when it comes to sending emails or replying to certain messages, all automated. So for example here, if I just go ahead and create a workflow, I can choose from a list of templates here. So for example, if I wanted something to do with an appointment conf confirmation plus reminder, I can go ahead and click select. There's plenty to choose from here. Let's say I wanted to start from scratch, I'll just click continue. And here is where I can start creating a workflow. So these tabs here shows my actions, any of the settings, uh, history, as well as the status on them as well. So how it works is I'll go ahead and add a new workflow trigger. So it depends on what I want to do within this workflow. So let's say for example, someone were to be on our Shopify account and they were in the checkout area, but for some reason they abandoned the checkout. I can go ahead and click this option here. I'll click save trigger. And as you can see, it says abandoned checkout. What I can do is click this little plus tab and then choose what I want my website to do afterwards. So for example, let's say they abandoned it, you would probably want to send them a message maybe on site or via email or through SMS, entirely up to you guys. But let's say we don't want to be too you know, annoying or whatever. So let's say I'm, I just want to send an email. So I can go ahead and click email here. That can choose where I'd like to send it from, from what email, subject and any of your templates that I have. So let's say the template that I made on sales pitch, I could send that to them. Or maybe I've made a template on maybe why they abandoned a checkout of some sort you know maybe they weren't happy with something and i could make a template on well okay well what was the issue more or less so for this example i'll just use the only template that i have 
and then again you can choose to add an attachment and then what I'll do is I'll save actions and then that is another action so that's one action done so I can choose to end it there or I can simply just add more so there's plenty of actions you can choose here it's entirely on what you guys want to do and automate within your agency you can spend a lot of time here and I highly suggest that you do just to make your whole agency really automated and it will save so much time and again just before I went onto this page there are plenty of templates as well so you can instead of having to create one from scratch you can just go off a template that they have to offer so now we are on the sites tab so under funnels you can build funnels to generate leads appointments and receive payments so what you can do is, is create a new funnel you can also create your own website so you can build websites to showcase your products and build trusted brands so just like the funnels tab you can go ahead and create one or choose a template from their library so what you can also do under blogs is you can create a funnel or website page to host your blogs so just like the automation process you can create a funnel or website by simply just going through and choose to create or add a blog into that as well. They also have WordPress uh, directly installed into their app. So if you have an account there, you can go to the dashboard and log in. So now we are on the memberships area. So again, this will mainly be for your websites. So for example, if you had a membership, you can go to the dashboard here, which shows if they've opt in the last 30 days, how many members you have within the last 30 days, any sales and checkouts as well. You can also go to products if you were to have any listed products, any offers, check your analytics and as well as your settings for uh, membership. So now we're on the reputation tab. So very self-explanatory in this one, it just shows your rep for all your websites in general. So for example, it would show your invites goal, which obviously I have zero because this is a test account, reviews received, average rating, sentiments, invite trends, review trends and latest review requests. You can also choose to send a review request as well. Any last option at the bottom here is reporting. So in this tab, it's literally just going to show you all of your analytics for certain social media platforms. So again, like it says at the top here, this is sample data. This is an actual real data. I'm currently on Google ads. So it'll show more or less my analytics for all the Google ads that I've been running maybe. So it shows my impressions here, my clicks, conversions, uh, what the clients spend on average, your conversion rate, and shows all your campaigns down here as well and everything that has to do with them and any relevant information to do with that campaign so for example for lawn space gardening the status is obviously open uh, it has it currently has 5,000 clicks 210 dollars per cost the revenue it has gained is 3.4k etc etc and it shows you everything that you need to see so my leads impressions average revenue sales not only that, you can do that with any social media platform that you have linked up. So let's say obviously I have Google ads, I can also have my Facebook ads shown up as well. Now if we go to attribution reports, it shows your report of your conversions as well as a source report. So if I were to click on conversions report, it would show you my revenue, opportunities, total contacts and sessions. And it will show me a bunch of different graphs based off the analytics that it has gained from my ads. And it also shows me my source report. So pretty much where my conversions are coming from, where my customs are coming from. So having all my analytics and reports under one tab showing from multiple different social media platforms as well is absolutely insane. Big time saver instead of having to go to different social media platforms again and checking all the analytics, it shows me all of my analytics on one area. Okay, so that is my review on Go High Level. Hopefully I've explained a lot of the features they offer to you guys and hopefully you can choose whether or not Go High Level is right for you. Based off my experience and learning to work with Go High Level, it has been great. They offer a lot of features which will generally help your agency grow as well as help you save an immense amount of time with all of the automation processes, the organization and allowing you to integrate multiple different social media platforms in one. Again, just saving a lot of time to really help you and your agency grow. So again, if you guys were interested in Go High Level, there will be a link in the description where you can get an extended free trial. Thanks so much for watching this review and I hope to see you guys next time.